Hi everyone, I'm Lauren from Single Barrel Soaps and I have not done a video in a really long time where I talk so I'm very excited. But today I am working on my facial soap using some new Rainbow Barrel molds my dad made me. I cannot get over how amazing these are and I'm so excited. And I haven't made facial soap in a long time and I do it a little bit differently than I make my normal soaps. So what I'm going to do first is because I use rose clay and activated charcoal in my soap. So I have my oil split apart from my butters. Over here I have shea butter and coconut oil. In here I have castor, avocado, olive oil, argon, and jojoba oil. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to kind of measure. Let me see if I can find any my measuring things. Here we go. So I'm going to do the rose clay first. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of rose clay. Put that in there. And that's really good. Clay is really gentle on your skin and it helps pull out any impurities, any yuckiness, all of that. I'm going to wipe this off. Yuckiness, I like the very professional terms I use. <laughs> all right, so I wipe this off. So now I am going to do, let's see, I'm going to do one heaping table. Hmm, maybe not quite that much. See, I just, I guesstimate. I'm terrible with this. All right. Hmm. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm going to put this to the side. Now I am going to mix this into my oils first because I don't want the, um, I don't want to mix it directly into my soap batter. I want it to completely disperse among the oils and I don't want to make my soap batter too thick. So I'm going to mix this up and I will speed that part up. All right, I think that's pretty good and I will scrape down the sides and do all that when I'm ready to add it to my lye and butters. Okay, so I have my butters here. I never do it like this. Just move that over. So I have my lye water. I usually use ice cubes. Um, so to make soap, you need a lye and liquid solution. So I use water. Um, I usually use ice because it gets cold really fast. Today I use distilled water because I'm going to use the uh, heat transfer method, which means I am going to take the hot lye water solution, add it to my um, cocoa butter and my shea butter, have that melt, and then add that in. So my lye water is 190 degrees. Let's see. There we go. So it will cool down. This is obviously room temperature. So I'm going to pour this in and then I'm going to stir it up until it melts. So this isn't a method I use a lot. Um, part of the reason I'm using this today is because I am making an unscented facial bar. So there's no fragrance oil. It is just one color. Um, so I wanted to set up a little faster. And when you use the heat transfer method, I find that it sets up much quicker. So I'm just going to keep stirring and stirring and stirring until this melts down. Um, and then I will be back to add it to the other part. I'll be right back. Now I feel like in this video I'm breaking a ton of the rules I normally do. <laughs> Because one of the main, you know, rules with soap making is you always add the lye and water solution to the soap mixture, not the other way around, or you can get a volcano. But with this one, once everything's dissolved, I am going to be putting in my oils to this just because it's a bigger container. So I'm going to zap this a few more times until I will no longer see or feel anything. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Now. So technically, I guess this is at trace, which means um, it looks like pudding. It's leaving a trace of the soap behind. But <laughs> since it's just, let's say, uh, I'm going to go with me 30 or 35 percent of my recipe, this would be terrible. So no, it would be super lie heavy. So now I'm going to slowly add in my oils. And do half at a time and just kind of stir it up. and we thought it was a trace before, but now it's barely even past emulsion. So I'm gonna keep stirring this up, but that is part of the reason, well, it's the main reason I use the heat transfer method, because if you're working with a recipe that has a lot of soft, a lot of soft butters and soft oils, which this does, um, or I guess oils, all oils are soft. <laughs> 
Um, it can take a really long time to get to trace. And I want this at about a light to medium trace to go into my barrel mold. And I'll be transferring this over to this container to make it easier to pour. But I'm going to keep mixing um, until it hits a level. Let's see, we're just at emulsion, which means nothing is breaking up. Let's see, nothing's breaking apart here. So I'm going to keep mixing. And another issue with the heat transfer method is you can very easily get a false trace. So then once you pour it, so you think it's reached trace, you think it's good to pour in the mold, and then once it gets in the mold, the um, lime water solution separate from your soap recipe because it wasn't actually all blended together. So I'm going to do a little bit more because I really don't want that to happen. And I'm not adding any color, any fragrance, so I'm not worrying about it speeding up on me. See, we're getting slight trails. Not sure if you guys can see it or not. It's really, really, really light trace. So I want to go a little bit more. All right, that is good. Uh, wait, move this back to low. There we go. Okay, I am going to scrape off the stick blender, and I'm going to keep using this. I'm actually making a few more batches of the facial soap today. I'm going to keep using this because there's no fragrance oil, and I'm doing the same thing for all of them. So I'm just going to scrape the sides, give it a feel. What temperature are we at? We're at 103. And then these bowls, I love, but they're really hard to pour out of. So pour it into here. I did not make the massive mess I thought I would, which is really exciting. I have my molds. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm taking a little video at the side. I'm trying to get a cool angle, so we'll see. <laughs> All right. So let's pour this. And this is a really nice trace. It's like exactly what I wanted. It's thick enough to not kind of ooze out the side, but it's thin enough to get all the details of the barrel mold, which I am super excited about. And I'll speed this up because we're just pouring. And then I will be back tomorrow to unmold these. I'm just going to tap it down gently. There we go. Now we'll pour the rest of this in here. The next day and I can already tell that these did leak a little bit which is fine I kind of expected that so you can see they leaked there but let's check it out so that just means I need to add another rubber band that's all so to unmold these you just break the seal and these come apart amazingly oh look at these Oh my, all right, let's try to get the camera to focus. Wow, these came out amazing. Oh, I love these. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show my dad. So see, it dipped in a little bit, but that is okay. All the important parts still look amazing. And then to clean this up, I literally will just scoop it here. And then I will, once it's a little harder, I will, um, use a, um, there you go, bevler, <laughs> brain's not working, to do that, to fix that part. Look at that. These are amazing, and I really love, like, the grayish color. You can see the activated charcoal, the little dots. I love these. All right, I am going to keep unmolding these, and I'll keep recording. Um, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you, you guys, for watching this. Massive, massive thanks to my dad for making these new molds. And I hope you guys like it. Mm -hmm.